uh, just want to go ahead and tell you, I'm crossing my fingers that all my humor translates to you this evening. <laughs> I tend to repeat myself, and I've already been told once, we heard you the first time. <laughs> so I'll try to keep it once only. Say one thing only once. Um, I'm excited to be here, and I'm happy to be here with my friend Jay Nash. So I'm going to play you a couple songs, and we're going to do fun stuff. Uh, my name's Garrison Starr, and this song's called Slow Crawl. Is that the, is that the bat? Well, I'll tell you, that's convenient because now I don't get to say the one thing I know, which is Bar es het toilet. Now I can't play that because I already know.
had pate in my teeth. <laughs> Do I have pate in my teeth? <laughs> for supper. Do you know what supper is? <laughs> Read a thousand books I've memorized their pages I've taken some hard looks And I've changed some faces But there's only so much that one person can do And only one person I can't decide what a heart decides And I can't love what I don't love inside And I can't change what can't be changed people on the entire planet. They're one of my favorite songwriters. So. Ditto, my friends. <laughs> Love. We're kind of the same. We're kind of the same person. We realized um, we had the same sunglasses. We had these Ray-Ban aviators, the silver sunglasses. We had them longer than anyone else had them. Yeah. <laughs> like they, they, they stopped being cool like three years ago. We, we both still had these aviators without speaking to each other. You know, like, you know I think I'm, I'm going to get some Wayfarers. Brown tortoise shell wayfarers. And I get them, I have them on the other day. Garrison's looking at me, she's like, Do you have my sunglasses on? I'm like, No. She got the same I damn did. ones. I got the same ones. <laughs> but it wasn't discussed, so I don't know what it says. I think it says we're both awesome. <laughs> <laughs> That's the spirit. I mean, it could be that or like a million other things, but I'm going with awesome. <laughs> Um, this is a love song. Um, are we going to do I May Not Let Go or That's Double Thing? Oh. Let's do I May Not Let Go. We did that. Okay. This, this is also a love song, coincidentally. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's called I May Not Let Go. What's that? We can do them both. True. Back to back. Hey, true that. Fist bump for life experience. Oh, yeah. Uh, there it is. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know.
this road I'm nowhere found I hear the whistle blow and what a lonely sound If I hold you tonight well, I may not Mississippi, it taught me a lot, mainly that I don't ever want to live there again. <laughs> um, this song is called Between the This song is called Between the Devil's Reign and a Dying Language, and it's a it's a song about feeling lost and obsolete. And it goes like this.
want to do gasoline? Jay and I made a, uh, a record in Memphis, Tennessee, um, very near where I grew up, uh, at Sun Studios. Ever heard of it? Sun Studios. That's where, that's where they, they created rock and roll. <laughs> they, like, invented it there. They had this guy named Elvis Presley come in. <laughs> Ever hear of him? He's, he's huge in America. <laughs> he's dead for a couple years. But, uh, when he was just a young man, he went into, he just sort of walked, walked into Sun Studio and they recorded his first records there, as did they record uh, Johnny Cash's first records and Jerry Lee Lewis and Carl Perkins, kind of hallowed ground. And uh, we, we had actually the opportunity to record, I think, 12 songs um, right there on the cutting room floor and they, they filmed it too. It's, a, it's become like a special on uh, public television, but um, we'll play some of those songs tonight. We brought, we just made copies of that record for the first time. Actually, you're the first people in the entire world that have ever had access to physical copies of that album, so we think you're special. <laughs> <laughs> song's called Gasoline. You want to play it?
guess I have you for a while. <laughs> I've, I've recognized several of you. It's, it's really encouraging. And it's even more encouraging that there's people here that I don't recognize. <laughs> says success really happens when you, when you play for people that aren't just your close personal friends. <laughs> um, uh, I was here in November, and then I went home, and I stayed home for about three months straight, and wrote some songs, and try a couple new ones, see who likes them. If you don't, I'll take them back to Vermont and leave them there. <laughs> If you like them, I'll take them with, with us to Germany. <laughs> Leave a couple here. I'll run for you, honey, cause you don't get tired. It's the way you whine, baby, so am I. We could catch up over coffee. Tell me what she thinks Or is it a mistake Baby, I'm not sure one awkward moment of silence there after the song was finished. I was like, I failed. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Taco Bell. That's all I know. <laughs> okay. I asked for a, like a, a CD of Learn to Speak Dutch for Christmas. And uh, I know it was going to be coming back, but 
and I, and I got it for Christmas, so I was really excited on Christmas morning. But it was a CD-ROM, and um, I, I felt awkward about having my laptop open while I was driving in my car. My whole plan was to learn to speak Dutch while I was driving around, because I drive a lot. But I felt like it would be a bad idea to, you know, have the laptop out while driving. So, Taco Bell. <laughs> that's, uh, that's all I have. <laughs> But I do have more songs. Uh, this one, this one's a little older. This is from from Diamonds and Blood. Um, about this time, I met this girl, and um, was immediately uh, mesmerized, taken. I said, "Oh my God, you are beautiful. We're gonna have a great life together." My name's Jay, and she goes. I, I didn't ask you what your name was. I said, well, it's gonna, it's gonna be a long life, I guess. <laughs> so I guess it's a tale of perseverance. Sorry I'm stalling. My G-string's a bit loose. <laughs> I thought I could say that without any, you know, language. Okay, now we're right. Still not right. There we go. Loving your love is harder than store. You keep it heated with long king. It's a test of your will now. Are you willing to lose? Just had to tell. You never have proof You say you don't need me But I'm telling you you do And I keep telling you Until I get through Did I give you a diamonds in blood? And now of myself, I, I make it all up. You say you don't need me, but I'm telling you, you do. And I keep telling you. Till I get through Well, oh, that you know That's the wrong chord. Let me try that again. I played it in a different key earlier today at rehearsal. <laughs> with, a, with a band. But you gotta come see. On Sunday. In Amsterdam. <laughs> Back to the bridge. <laughs> it happens. This is how you know I'm not playing to a tape. <laughs> Ever heard of Ashley Simpson? <laughs> yeah, that's why. <laughs> when all that you know just leaves you wrong, there's a whisper in the cold calling you back home. I 
And I keep telling you Until I get through Until I get through Until I get through Unexpectedly extended version, except that soliloquy in the middle. Uh, th this song is a uh, song is a cautionary tale about the place that I grew up. Um, it also applies to anybody who may have come here by boat tonight. <laughs> um, it's kind of a nautical themed word of caution, you know. Where you don't try to blow the hands don't even know You don't try to roll to blow upstream You say don't say Then be careful you better know your course cause she is a devil and she calls your name she say so so did she cast no blame she bring you and I before you know you're sitting on a shore The prettiest thing you ever did not see When the moonlight shines Oh dear me You know, you know that the song still calls And when the whiskey falls You gotta heed that call She's begging for a ride But there's rocks in the water Rocks in the water Rocks in the water Start. 
guitar came back and sang with me, I think it'd be a lot less lonely for me. I'm going to use an exotic tuning here. look cooler with a guitar. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Agreed. I would so much rather, like when people ask me, to, people rarely ask me to sing harmonies, but if they ever do ask me to sing harmony, I feel much happier if I just have a guitar, you know, otherwise Not I'm like just that. like, I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> what key is it in? It's in like G, kind of, G. or D. G or D, those are two different keys. <laughs> They're like closely related to keys, though. That's true. Let's see. I think it's G. <laughs> it's D. <laughs> it's D. Pretty sure it's G. <laughs> that's, that's D. It's definitely D. Yeah, but that's me tuning the guitar. We were tuning a lot in D. <laughs> it's true. But I'm going to play in the key of G. It's not D. <laughs> well, then I wouldn't lie to you, Garrison. Sometimes. Chains of iron on a bow, birds of coal, but I couldn't find my phone. Here's my mind with a bottle of wine, got to thinking I'm here. Everybody knew me a good time. Let it be
song and then we're gonna have a break because I know that you want a drink. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? You know what? Bitter ball. Bitter ball? <laughs> bitter ball? <laughs> 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 Sounds bitter. It's a snack. snack. Bitter ball. Oh, you like your bitter licorice around here. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of a meatball. Oh, oh, it's a bitter meatball? No, it's not bitter. <laughs> <laughs> Is it chocolate? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like a, it's just a meat snack. Yeah. Yeah. Genius. It's fried. <coughs> okay, it's, it's bitter, it's meaty, no, and it's fried. It's not bitter. Oh, okay. It's cold bitter. Oh, okay. It's cold bitter. <laughs> okay. I accidentally I have had one a language of those. Issue here. <laughs> I accidentally had one of those dark little licorices. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 my my taste buds were not designed to receive the message <laughs> that those little beasts were transmitting. <laughs> it was like getting kicked in the mouth by a horse. <laughs> Luckily, I. I thought they were gummy bears because Miriam's are different colors. Like hers are like red and like lime green, you know? Like and those look like gummy worms. They look harmless. I was like, <laughs> I was gonna have one, but I was smart enough to ask her first because I would have been really disappointed. <laughs> I don't I don't like licorice. I can't get into it. They were pretty, I wanted one. The strope waffle. <laughs> <laughs> that three squares <laughs> until I get diabetes and fall over. <laughs> well, come to Mississippi, move to Mississippi if you get diabetes because everybody there has it. <laughs> move there. So, um, so yeah, we'll do one more song and then what are we doing? we'll play Sweet, oh, play Sweet Talking Lion. Okay. This record was first on a record called, um, or the song was on a record called The Things You Think You Need. That was, uh, that was the record that put my dad on the map. I'll get back. I'll tell you that story later, I think. Um, but we recorded it in Sun, so there's a version of us singing on it. Um, we're singing it together on that record. In uh, Sun? <laughs> it's not in D. <laughs> Do you know what key it's in? C sharp. C sharp. It's right next to D. C sharp. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know why I did it. I just guessed. Yeah. 
Wish she knew where I won't read the war The lie that you tell The report and the cheap man Who will be a healer Getting back down in your city To anyone in Holland. So. Hey, but at least if I have to go to the hospital, it'd be free. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's the thing. Like, you know, of all the times to hope to get sick, I hope that I get sick over here, so it's free. <laughs> exactly. But you know, nobody thinks that's a good idea over there. Really. Um, all right, so we're gonna uh, we're gonna press on. And uh, thank you so much for staying. Thank y'all for coming. <laughs> uh, more importantly, thank you for staying. Uh, if you got here late, my name is Garrison Star. That's two R's in Garrison, two R's in Star. Yes, it is my real name, but my first name is actually Julia. My middle name is Garrison. And no, I'm not related to Ringo. <laughs> I learned that the hard way, but that's another story. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. Hello. <laughs> 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 Sometimes what you don't say makes all the difference and sometimes you find your own way without interference it's not all darkness it's not all light you don't have to fix 
fix this Sit with me tonight Sound of heart breathing And the TV light I don't want to fight it Sit with me tonight Oh, 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 oh Oh, 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 oh Oh, oh Yeah, we pray for deliverance And we pray for understanding Like it makes all the difference It's not all the way left It's not all right You don't have to fix this Sit here with me tonight TV alive. I don't want to fight it. Sit with me tonight. Oh, 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 oh. Sit with me tonight. Oh, 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 oh. It's not. Um, household. Um, my parents are very conservative Christian, which is totally cool. <laughs> um, but the uh, situation in my family was, uh, well, we went to, my parents went, sent me to a, a private Christian school for 12 years, and we went to church twice on Sunday. So I got the message. <laughs> I definitely got the message. Um, and you know, for a long time, I was really uh, bitter about growing up in, in such a religious house because um, I felt like I didn't get a chance to make my own choice about Jesus, and you know, I just didn't get to develop my own feelings about it. You know, it was uh, by the time I decided what I thought about it, I thought it was bullshit because <laughs> everybody told me that I had to believe it. And, in, and when I was younger, you know, there were only two choices. It was like, okay, you do, you believe in Jesus, and you go to heaven, you know, and you live this kind of life, and you by these rules, and and you go to heaven, and so things are good. <coughs> you do this stuff. There was a whole list of bad stuff you couldn't do. You do this stuff, you go to hell. So it's like, well, I want to go to heaven because that sounds awesome. I mean, who doesn't want to go to heaven? But I feel some of this stuff. So like, I guess I can't do both, right? I guess I can't be a Christian and also like do some of the stuff that I want to do, like, I don't know, be human. Um, <laughs> because, <laughs> I'm not trying to be bitchy, that's just the way it was, that's the way it seemed to me. That was the picture that was painted. Um, and so, uh, so, so I got, I got angry because I, I couldn't, I felt like there was no good communication about about any of that. So I just got pissed and I rebelled against all of it um, to people, not in my heart, because I've, I'm a spiritual person and I've always believed, I mean, I believe in God. I just don't know exactly what it means. And I think that's okay for me. You know, I think that's okay. And uh, that's what this song is about. Um, somebody very close to me said, I love you more than anything in this world, Garrison. But I just, and I was like, no, hell no, that is not love, okay? That is not love. So I wrote this song about that. It's called Unchangeable. <clears throat> Everybody wants to talk about love, but it takes a lot to give. Everybody wants to talk about faith Yeah, but it takes a lot To risk mm -hmm. Everybody 
Highfalutin. It's pretty highfalutin. I'm a pretty highfalutin motherfucker. Uh, I'm sorry, I use bad words. I can't help myself. I do it because I never could cuss around my parents. I still don't. It's that rebellion I was talking about. I just do it. Like, I still am so codependent when I'm around my parents. I'm like, Dad, gum it. God. You should just do that. Yeah. Dad, gum it is so much funnier than. Yeah. Really? It's funny. Well, I don't do it to be funny or not funny. I don't know if it's I don't know if it's funny in Holland, but it's funny in America. <laughs> I don't dad really think, it? yeah. Well, my dad says funny things to try not to cuss. Like he'll be like, well, "I'll be a suck egg mule." It's like, what does that mean? You know? I, don't, I think it just. But he says it with conviction. Yeah, but it's just you know. Oh, you just, want? No, no, I don't. Yeah. I was thinking. You want me um, to, li to leave? Or should I? No, no. Um, <laughs> you know what we should do? Uh, let me think. What, what should we do? What about... Um, I like them all. <laughs> <laughs> you want to do Keep Your Head Down, you remember? Or 40 Days? 40 Days. 40 Days. Look at that! Hans! <laughs> Is that Hans? Has anybody given it up? That's Hans. The greatest. Hans. We should do our Hans impersonation. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> Have you seen Hans on Twitter or Facebook? Yeah. One more yeah. time. One more time. Three. One, two, three. Love that guy. In the beginning, when when Jay and I were talking.
talking about coming up, like, and I knew he was coming over, and we were talking about me coming with him and stuff, and um, I got a, are you leaving for good? Or? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to get a drink so, while you tell a story. <laughs> so uh, when I found, we found out, like, I started getting, public, like, my first, like, uh, you know, for lack of a better word, foreign tweets were from some guy named Hans. <laughs> Hans. Somebody write that and, down. Foreign tweets, great band. Yeah. <laughs> so, and it was this guy, and every time it pop up, the guy's picture was like, <laughs> I'm like, holy shit, this is so exciting. Like, <laughs> somebody in another country is tweeting about me, and, and then, he looks so happy. Yeah. <laughs> And then you, like, if you don't hear from him, like, a couple times a day, you kind of start to get disappointed. I'm like, disappointed. Hans hates me. Like, what, am I, what am I doing wrong? I said, shit, Hans, you're not following me anymore. I meant Dad Gummit. <laughs> so anyway, Hans, I said earlier that Hans is a celebrity in my mind because he's been tweeting and he Facebooks on my Facebook page. And Hans is mirroring the flesh right here. It's Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>
song for glory? Mm -hmm. Um, would y'all sing along if I taught you a gospel song oh, I wrote? This is gonna be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Will you participate in a yeah. song? That was the right feel for this, too. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, this is a gospel song I wrote for my family, um, because they're so enthusiastic about the Lord. Um, it is called The Train That's Bound for Glory, and the chorus goes like this. And when I hear that whistle blowing, no longer will I roam, roaming. When the train that's bound for glory. Can you get it together? Try it once? Yeah. yeah sure. You ready? Sure. Yeah. And when I hear that whistle blowing, no longer when I roam, no longer will I roam. When the train that's bound for glory, when the train that's bound for glory, it's calling me back home. It's calling me.
y'all so much. That sounded so beautiful. <laughs> I wish I could take y'all away with me. You guys should come. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just have a tomorrow. We travel. <laughs> we travel. Are you hey. guys, are you guys going to come and, and see the show in Amsterdam? Yeah. 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 You, it's on Sunday. I the bit is up. You won't do that? Come on. You won't do it's that. It's Easter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What better way to celebrate Easter than the <laughs> <laughs> Can we find so, eggs? Yeah, bring your eggs. Don't touch my eggs. <laughs> Get your own eggs. <laughs> Come sing with us on Easter. It'll be like it'll be like a holy communion. <laughs> Before I left to come over, my mom was like, now. Listen, you think about Easter on Easter. <laughs> I said, okay, Mom. You're good. I will. I don't know what that means, but I'll do think it. About a bunny, think about, in America, it means you think about a bunny rabbit laying eggs. <laughs> I'm you like, know how the two got together, but the bunny brings the eggs. <laughs> Same here. Freaks me the f out.
It's a beautiful day. Don't you want to see? It's a beautiful day. It's a gift. It's a gift. It's a beautiful day. I know that you uh, has a very good shot. We ate uh, we ate some rabbit and some venison. <laughs> he uh, he shot for dinner. But still, I have the nerve to get into his scotch collection. <laughs> I'm, I'm, the story is completely non sequitur, um, but I just wanted to confess to you that I found it. Um, this song uh, I wrote when I left Los Angeles. I lived in Los Angeles for nine years, which is how I know this fine, fine woman here. Um, great crew of musicians, great crew of friends, but I'm, I'm an East Coast kid, and there came a time where it's time to go back home. So I uh, had one moment of pause before I left where I just spit out quick, five quick verses about leaving California. <coughs> These are them. Hopefully I remembered them all. Five is a lot for one song. <laughs> I show up in town as we pull up home. Bragging about your face brings a wound out the door. But the limousines and the platinum sheen all stare shine somehow. Still, I am so even up with a golden stain. On a pretty face, he stayed seen and out of time. I could not ignore, blame, no, I did my best to try. But the latest nights and the dizzy highs will sometimes make you fall. Three thousand miles away from here, a golden state will call. Now I've made a plan. Lost my way and fell down on my face. Wondered if I'd disappear, I'd even leave a trace. But a pretty song can fix what's wrong. It'll put you right with God. It'll pull you from underneath a golden state farm. Like a masquerade, but I still got played by the queen of the lonely hearts. She caught my eye and whispered pretty lies. She kissed me in the dark. She burned me then and she will again make me walk across the wire. But still it feels so good sometimes to feel a golden state of fire. Now I 
chassis There's no easy way like sleepy kids goodbye I love this place but I cannot stay longer than night So close your eyes when you think of me and you lay your head to rest Cause I will not forget you and I hope So we're going to quickly shift uh, directions. A song about leaving California to a song about getting into a fist fight at a burrito stand <laughs> in California. <laughs> Maybe slightly related, these two songs. <laughs> Connected over several years. Uh, it's 
So let's go Barcelona. This is a chronicle of a man contemplating poor decision making in the beautiful fair city of Barcelona. It may or may not be autobiographical. I'd like you to think for a moment that it's not. <laughs> Just so, so that you think I'm capable of making better decisions than I actually am capable of making. Um, might be true. Not. Be good. It all worked out okay. <clears throat> you guys okay? It's gonna, it's gonna get sad here. <laughs> if you get sad, just fold each other. <laughs>
We'll make it all okay. song called The Art Thief. How many of you got that? Yeah. <laughs> Three of you? <laughs> this song is for you guys, then. <laughs> this song is new, and it's not going to be on a record for a while, but... Remember we were practicing it. Was I playing guitar? <laughs> you did. You got the singing down, though. Good. Let's do it. I'll just hold this. Good, good. Better. I'm watching the guitar. You I've look got very like expensive. A, I've got, well, I've got, uh, that's what it is. It's about perception. And I uh, have a ledge to rest You guys on, hear, so. this, this song was inspired by a newspaper headline. I don't know if this came over here, but there was this guy, I think he was a, he was a sommelier, like a, like a, prof like a wine professional at a restaurant. And he stole two Picasso paintings. From a gallery, he just he just pulled. He came up in a cab, walked upstairs, stole the paintings, walked out with them, and then he went to Wine Country, Napa Valley, in, in California. And then he was arrested for it, of course. And then afterwards, he's like, you know, I I don't know what I don't know all the fuss. I feel bad. I, I can't believe I'm looking at life in prison for stealing a priceless painting. It's a strange story, but really, it's just he just loves art, so he. <laughs> Thought it should be in his house. <laughs> so I was reading it and I kind of felt bad for him, so I wrote this sad bastard song about him. Just grab a couple of things and we'll get gone. Take me to the valley and put you some rest. Peace and serenity will help clear my head. You can blame me.
think we're gonna play one more song for you. Um, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for staying late, getting here early. <laughs> thank you so much. so much to email and his and his family. Um, this is a great place. I'm so lucky to be here. Um, Butchered you. I called you email just now. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were talking about our email. Meal. Cool. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> stuff just falls out. <laughs> thank, thank, thank you for email. <laughs> thank you for hosting such a wonderful party. I'm really excited that I got to be here. Thank you for welcoming me into your community <clears throat> tonight. I appreciate it. Thanks to Jay Nash for having me. Yeah, Garrison Starr. Um, yeah, in typical Dutch fashion, I think we have 17 shows in the next six days. <laughs> <laughs> Which is awesome. Um, this is a song about electricity. Um, send you off with Between, between Humans. <coughs> you want to hold hands for this one, you can too. <laughs> But seriously, actually, I, I thanked, I meant, I meant Emil when I said email before, but please keep in touch. We have an email list. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's right next to the CDs that we're hoping to send you home with. Oh, and we also have these posters that feature a, uh, um, an elephant riding a, a unicycle, <laughs> which I think would look great on your wall. Same like color schemes. You have like Heineken paraphernalia or even a Heine <laughs> Heineken in the room. It'll compliment. <laughs> yeah. I don't think there's an elephant in the room now. <laughs> we know Garrison is not married. <laughs>
our story was not written so we sing old hymns of the stars we sing red State New York, white boy blues. <laughs> Got it. I'm on it. Do you want me to stand on anything on that side? You, you want to stand on this side? You like it better? Whatever you want to do. This is that's how we cheat. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> I like to stand over there when I'm cheating. Yes. I only need to cheat to figure out what key it's in because yeah. I don't. <laughs> I need to cheat more. I don't have ears. I have to pluck around so I find the right. Key. <laughs> Let's create butt plucking. <laughs> this is a song about my hometown. My birthday came day too late. My old man had cheap face wrapped in pride, never wanted to wait. Put another night, another song. Only once, been too long. Let's stay a while.
Bernie was late and I soon in that long swing grip of a wind. I prayed for it to stop, but it began. And the rain came down like a hurricane. And my head was just the same. I remember all the nights I spent you on the spot. I just thought if there was something. No, no. Okay, great. You okay, great. <laughs> um, we're going to play a song of uh, mine called Superhero. It's on the very first record I ever made. Back in 1996. Ugh. <laughs> 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 a long time ago. Holy shit. Uh, yeah, should, I Wait, should I not have said that. Yeah, um, Okay, put on the second fret if you want. Okay, now I got it. You got okay, it? Yeah, yeah. Okay, great. I'm gonna have a rainbow. One, two, three. <laughs>
your soggy snowman. You have to come. You have to come on Sunday, even if it's Easter. Because the room is going to feel so empty without you. It's a big room. This is a this is a song from a place called Lander, Wyoming, which I'm guessing that none of you have ever been to before. Most places in America, when I play this song and I announce it's from Lander, Wyoming, they just look at me with a blank stare because they've never heard of it, never once been there. It has one intersection, one traffic light, three horses, one bar. <laughs> I played the bar. It's called the Lander Bar. <laughs> And it's right near a, a reservation for the Shoshone Native American Indian uh, nation. A group of them were kind of carrying on on the Saturday night that we were playing. And we, we finished up our set. I had my whole band there. We played all the big rooms. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and they pulled me aside. I thought I was going to get beat up. They bought me a shot of whiskey. Everything turned out all right. But um, the guy told me this story. And... <coughs> I was taken aback, and a couple days later, it became a song in the back of the band. And Garrison likes to play guitar on this song, so we're going to play it. Oh, it's called Oogly Boogly. <laughs> Which I'm not sure what it means. <laughs> never heard anyone say it before besides me and this guy. <laughs> Trevor Lay Trevor Lay
of a piece It's deeper than the river It's bigger than the hill We've been beaten down, we've been broken too. We surrendered our horses, gave up on our land. We say, 